All right, we are now well into January and well into 2018. Everybody's back to work. We're past the holidays, past the snow days for now, I hope, in the Northeast. And uh, winter is definitely here. But so, too, is our new year. And thinking about all the work that we have ahead of us and, more importantly, what are we going to do to create our situation, to own our situation, our work and career, and make the best of it and make a big impact so one of the things I wanted to start out talking about this year is what limiting beliefs or what one thing or two things that we have going on in our own head, in our own mind that might or already is holding us back. What's going on in your mind that might or already be holding you back? Two years ago at this time, I was telling myself a story pretty regularly. I was ready and thought I was ready to start moving on out of my corporate career, but I was telling myself... I'm not an entrepreneur. I was telling myself that story every single week. People even asked me, friends would even ask what I would do if I left my corporate job. And, you know, would I start my own business, company, et cetera, initiative? And I, I would say, I'm not an entrepreneur. I don't have that entrepreneurial background to do that kind of work. I have the drive to do some of the why, but I don't really have the acumen or the background to be an entrepreneur and start my own business. I told myself that all the time. Well, here I am, fast forward, we're now into 2018. I have started my own initiative, started a business, and I'm building something that I really believe in, all while finding great help and people to surround me with and learning a lot of the things, a lot of the hows as I go. So I've worked my way through a lot of that limiting belief. I still have some work to do, by the way. But I wanna plant this seed with you as we get rolling into 2018 is, what are you going to do to work through your limiting belief? What are you going to do to get through it and not let it cripple and paralyze you so that you can get out there and do what you want to do, whether it's in your current job and company, whether you want to leave or move on to a different opportunity or company, whether you want to start another business, whether you just want to continue to progress and move up the chain in terms of opportunity, roles, responsibilities, whatever the case may be, what limiting belief, what story are you telling yourself that might hinder you? And a lot of times these stories come from fear. A lot of times they come from a place of we're reconciling and justifying in our mind, I can't or I won't do this because of a fear that we have down here and, and in our head, but a fear that built up over time down here and we don't want to quite put ourselves out there. So we have to work through that. We don't conquer it. We don't push it out of the way and get rid of it forever. We process, understand it, and work through it. So planting a seed, and we're going to talk a lot more about this in the coming weeks and months as we roll through 2018, is what are we doing to work through those limiting beliefs and stop telling ourselves those stories? Do me a favor, comment, write in, or just email me directly. Tell me what your limiting belief is, and let's work through some of this together. I'm here to help. I want to understand a little bit more about your situation, what limiting beliefs you have, and we can work through some of that together. And here are some suggestions that I made and did myself to help me get through my limiting beliefs. And even doing, I've used this example before, even doing videos like this. A couple of years ago, I, I was saying to myself, I would never, when video started to become a little more relevant, I would say I would never be doing videos by myself to share talk to, ask, and even suggest to people what to do, well, here I am. You work through it, and you realize that there's value in what you do, and you all have a talent. We all have talents, gifts, and skills to give. So let's not let those stories that we tell ourselves paralyze us and cripple us from doing what we want to do and creating and realizing that fulfillment. So share with me, comment below, write me an email if you want to keep it a little bit more one-on-one -on -one and private, and let's talk and work through these things, and we're only going to make progress so that you can create your great in 2018. All right, thanks for listening, and I will talk to you again real soon.